Good morning. You know, I've been trying to keep these little messages at two minutes and it's almost impossible. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to really try to keep them short, but I'm not going to be so, so rigid on my timing because I watch them and I think, gosh, I left out so many things I wanted to say about that issue. So with that said, we're going to get started and we're going to go till we're ready to stop. No, we won't do that because if we did, you'd probably really get tired of hearing me. So, but I'm going to go till I think I really should stop. Okay, here we go. This morning, I want to talk about words. This is probably one of my biggest things, words. And you know, you can see that I'm, you know, <laughs> the word says the power of life and death is in the tongue. It says it's a very small part of our body but it can set your whole life on a course of destruction. And I'm sure that there are some of you out there that will attest to that. How many times have you said something that you go, <laughs> wow, I shouldn't have said that. But once those words are out there, there's no taking them back. You can apologize for them. You can, you know, eat them. <laughs> you can say you're sorry, but you still said them. And they still did what they went out there to do. So it's so important that you taste your words before you spit them out of your mouth. You know, you know, I don't believe in letting the intellect rule your body because the intellect is one of the things that can block you from getting to know God because the intellect can't understand God, so it wants to red X everything. But it should have... A, a say in what comes out of your mouth. You use your logic to run your spiritual things by, and especially words. I mean, before you say something, you need to say, now, how, what kind of an impact is this going to have? How is this going to affect the person I'm, I'm saying this to? Words are so powerful, you guys. The power of life and death is in the tongue. Just imagine. That is powerful stuff. It can make or break you. You can bless yourself and others, or you can curse yourself and others. If you're one that uses negative things all the time about yourself and others, you're going to see that come right back into your life. You can call things into being with your tongue. You can say, you know, I'm stupid, and your, your flesh believes it, and it goes towards it. Or you can say, you know what, I'm pretty sharp, and you're... Your flesh believes that and goes towards it. So whatever you say, you're going to get. And when you say it to children, oh my gosh, be careful what you say to young people. Because you can actually make or break a, a, a life of a child with your words. Note that my eyes are kind of closed today. As you guys know, I have an issue with my eyes. Don't think I'm falling asleep. They close when they're not supposed to. But we prayed for them and we're believing they will be healed. I'm standing on God's word. I'm doing everything I know to do. And then I'm standing and believing. And that's what you need to do too. You guys are precious. Tune in tomorrow. I'm getting some wonderful responses from you, by the way. I love my people. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. So if you have something you want me to talk about, be sure and let me know. In the meantime, I bid you a blessed day. And I'll see you tomorrow.